Hey, how's it going everyone? Hope you guys are having a good day today. Today's video is going to be covering how you can get your name tag above your head as well as in tab. And this is going to be using a free plugin called tab. That link will be down in the description where you guys can go download it. So let's go ahead and get started with customizing your server. Alright, so once you have installed your plugin, there's a few things you need to add. Make sure you have Vault as well as some sort of permission plugin. So make sure you have the Vault plugin, and I'm using LuckPerms for my permission plugin. And uh, you can follow along with some of the steps that I do if you're also running LuckPerms. So by default, Tab automatically uh, hooks on to your permission plugin and your Vault prefixes. So that is why we have our player automatically there, which is my default group. So there's a few tab commands that you can use which is kind of helpful. There's going to be the group as well as the, the player command. So if we type in that you can actually set the tab prefix and suffix or whatever in game which is pretty helpful. If we take a look in tab we can see a whole bunch of uh, various placeholders. A whole bunch of stuff is happening. Uh, that is using various placeholders using placeholder API which is very helpful and then you can use a whole bunch of different ones to make your tab stand out a little bit more. Uh, we're going to be removing most of that because it's kind of unnecessary uh, except for you know we have our rank name and then our player and then ping so there's quite a bit you can do with that but I'm going to be focusing on the in-game prefix above the player's name for this first portion of the video so as I mentioned it does hook in with luck perms so here we have our uh, ranks and default automatically has this uh, player prefix so if we type in chat, that is our player prefix. So I'm going to do a parent set to VIP, and there we go. Now the rank has changed, as well as in tab. And as you see, the order is not set correctly. We will change that in the configurations a little bit later. But essentially, anytime you uh, move our uh, specific rank, it will change in tab as well as in above their name. Essentially, what tab is doing, it is grabbing whatever prefix that it has set, and it's automatically applying it to the player's name as well as in tab which is very helpful. So here is the config and we're going to be going into the basic config.yml. And here this is where you can change your header and footer in the tab. We will uh, worry about this in a second but here is just your basic uh, settings that you can enable and disable. And this is where we want to get into the sorting list. Uh, down over here is where you have specific groups defined if you want to override the default um, basically the default group prefix that you have set for your permission plugin. Um, I just want to automatically grab the default. If you want to change it, you can. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to head and delete this. So that way it's going to automatically look for this one. So it's going to grab the vault prefix, essentially our permission prefix that we set in luck perms. So I'm just going to save that real quick. But now I want to do our sorting list. So if I go to LP list groups, this is the sort list that I already had set up from look perms. So we can basically do this. So we have a default here, and then we can basically just add the rank. So VIP and then MVP, helper, we can do moderator and add administrator. So now our sorting list is how we want it. Now if we take a look, uh, you can actually set up specific prefixes for users and you can run that command in game as well. And below here, there's just some various uh, things if you want to enable. I'm not going to dwell on these too much because it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's very customizable, which is very helpful. And you can set up per worlds if you want to have specific um, headers, prefixes, uh, or even tab. Um, I'm not going to dwell over most of this because you can uh, mess around it with it with your own uh, settings. But I'm going to save that. Right. And then if we do tab and reload again, now if we take a look in tab, now our sorting list has been fixed. So if I actually add myself uh, to the owner group, uh, parent set owner, now we should be able to see as you saw, it's swap. So now I am at the very top and we are on the priority list and is grabbing the default prefix. If I say hi, as you see here is just the, the gold and it is golden tab as well. So there we go. So that is how you set up your priority list as well as your user prefixes above their name. Now we can focus on some of the headers. So a lot of this is using a placeholder ABI and you can change quite a bit of things. This anim 
animation is actually grabbing uh, this animation from here. So here's the animations.yml and you can actually change all this. Basically here is the first animation, my animation one. Here is the second one. So all these define a specific animation. And of course you can change this all you want, which is pretty helpful. So you can just define your animations in here. And then in the config, you basically just reference it using animation uh, placeholder and then you can say whatever you want. So that is up to you, uh, depending on what you want to do. So I don't want the memory being shown. The TPS can be shown. Uh, I want to remove the staff and then I'm going to remove this one. So I'm going to actually grab a multiverse placeholder API. And to do that, we can just look up a placeholder API. So here is all the placeholders and I'm going to be using the statistic. This is just a, a default one and we can actually uh, see how many how much time has been played so i'm just going to grab this placeholder right here and we'll just say time played and then we'll input that placeholder let me make this a little bit of a different color we'll make it uh, yellow and then we'll make this um, aqua all right and you can use hex color codes in here as well uh, which is pretty nice but let's go ahead and save that and if we do tab reload here as you see it's going to have the placeholder in tab but we still need to activate the placeholder and to do that we just need to run this command using placeholder api and pappy reload and then once everything is good there is our playtime, which is pretty cool. So that is how you add additional placeholders. As I mentioned, guys, everything is completely customizable. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Customize everything with your tab and with your players. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Leave your comments down below if you have any questions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.